I think it's going to be pretty challenging this next chapter of the adventure because while we've been here in Zimbabwe, Crusoe's learned how to be a bit more mobile. So he's crawling around, he's all over the place. He's got a few more demands than he had the last time we were in the, the truck. From what we understand, Botswana is a little bit less friendly. I think it's just very wild and very remote. The plan is to head towards Botswana. We're going up to Vic Falls now. We're basically about to jump on a flight. We're gonna nip in, have a quick look at Vic Falls again because it'd be quite different from the last time we were there. Lots more water coming over the top. And then we're gonna take a taxi to the border, 70 bucks. And then we are going to be picking up our truck, the Bushlaw truck. Right, they're coming to the border to meet us. And then we'll be heading over to um, Chobe National Park. What's going on, Crusoe? Found a dustbin. Did you find the dustbin? Did you find the dustbin? so good. Now the time pressure is on for sure. Yeah, so we've got three hours, haven't we, to nip down, have a look at Vic Falls. And get to the border, through the border. And to the Bushlaw car, which is waiting for us at one o'clock today. We also haven't had breakfast, so stuff starts to get dangerous round about now. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, so we've just arrived back at the falls. I say back at the falls because we were here just a few weeks ago before the rains when there was a lot less water going over the falls. I can definitely hear a huge amount of water dropping over them right now. There's a bit of a roar coming from over that direction. Let's go and have a look. We are not going to spend very long and this part of the video is going to be mere seconds, I promise you, because of course, if you've watched our series, our African series, you will have seen us pop into Vic Falls just a while ago, a few weeks back. So Tara is going to be doing the editing. So I'm not sure how this video is going to play out, but what I would expect is there'll be a shot of the falls five or six weeks ago when we were here last time and a shot of the falls today. Are you ready to get wet, Crusoe? What an incredible shot. Wow, Crusoe, wow, look at it. What do you see? Oh, whoa. Hey, my boy. That's incredible. Even the color of the water is different because it's obviously like churned up with lots of sediment from the rains and stuff. So it's very brown. And I don't even think there was water coming down the back there when we were here last time. No, there wasn't, was there? Amazing! Come, let's get to the main falls, I think, hey? Yeah, let's go and have a quick look. If you ever plan a trip to Victoria Falls, do your best. Try and plan it for after Christmas. Later the better, I'd say. What? January, February. Oh, February. February. It's incredible, isn't it? You can almost, like, feel the power as well. It's like a definite rumble that wasn't here last time we were here. Big water, hey! Wow! You're going to get properly wet. This is so cool. I've never seen Crusoe quite as excited about water. We know he loves water because we can't keep him out of it, but the falls are really, really, really getting exciting, aren't they, Crusoe? Hey? You're excited. We're running out of time, so we need to do the main falls. I think. Okay.
Like it's properly raining, except it's not. Go. There's a border waiting and a car. And a car. Let's go to Botswana. Let's go to Botswana. So we are now beetling very quickly our way to the Zimbabwe and Botswana border. We've got around about 45 minute drive to the border. And after that, we will at last finally be picking up our home on wheels. up ahead, blocking our way to Botswana. We've got a couple of elephants. This is what that guy we must have meant earlier when he said that they won't let us out of the country. building and maintenance. There you go, there's your van, my friends. Carpentry, painting, decorating, roofing and ground works. All these British cars, all imported. Look at that, way to high ace. Whoever's that was, perfect fit blind system. Blind slats UK, daveclark.biz and his son. Check that, plumber, plumbers they were. Right, that took less than five minutes to get stamped out of the country. Brilliant. Except now I've lost Tara and Crusoe. We were parked right there. Flipping heck. Brilliant. I don't know where they've gone. So I found Tara, she moved. <laughs> Um, now I'm looking for the Bush Law truck. So I'm just going to wander up the street here, um, across to the Botswana and border post to see if I can find our Bush Law rental. Um, going to pick him up. He's going to come back down here. We're going to be able to offload all of the stuff from the taxi straight into the vehicle and then shoot off. That's the plan anyway. Are we good? We are good. Bush Law have come to pick us up. That's Yay! good news. Um, That's they, a good start. Yeah, it's a great start. Okay. Okay. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Are you ready, Crusoe? <laughs> Starting to rain. Let's get going. Okay. Goodbye, Zimbabwe. <laughs> Now we go and get the passports stamped and then we're on our way. So something really important to remember, if you're traveling in Southern Africa with a baby, you have to travel with their birth certificate and they do ask for them. So don't forget. That's you, Crusoe. And that's it, we're through. And I think that that has to be, without question, the easiest African border crossing of my life. So Crusoe is going to be doing the driving from here to Kasani. <laughs> Did you remember to bring your license, little man? It's been a long day for all of us. Nom, 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 nom. Stocking up for camping. Nice. Yeah, for camping now. I'm trying to get my head back in the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then after this, well, we've already been searching. Banana, banana, banana. Got to pay for that first, Crusoe.
Your mum's yeah. nearly done, look. She's just packing the truck back there. Right. So next up, let's try and find SIM cards. Yeah. Then we gotta figure out where we're going. Yeah. Then we gotta go there. Yeah. We're out of practice, darling. We are a bit, aren't we? It's been a long day so far. It's been a really long day. It started at five o'clock this morning. All right, um, that's it. We've got our SIM cards. That means we've got data. The data will only work in towns. It's not going to work um, at all in any of the national parks. So we will be offline when we're in campsites. As you can hear, Crusoe's getting properly fed up. We've been on the road now for 12 hours um, since we left home, um, uh, Tara's home. It's been a really, really long day. Lots of fidgeting and fiddling around and waiting and hassling and... Uh, Anyway, we're looking forward to getting to the campsite. We've yeah. got a game drive through the National Park on the way there. How long until we get there? About an hour, I think. So, let's try and ease it. Isn't that sky absolutely beautiful? Oh man, no fear. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, chaps. Love it. That was cool. So Chobi is really famous for its elephants, especially in the dry season. I have heard that this place basically becomes like elephant soup. This is the green season, so they are very dispersed at the moment. Because there's so much water up and it's really cool. You've seen some They're literally right here. Right next to the road. Judging by that first encounter, everything is so relaxed here, the elephants included, which is really cool when you're self-driving because I've lived in the bush for many years, so I'm fairly comfortable around wildlife, but elephants are always quite unpredictable. And so if you're driving yourself and you come across a herd of elephants, there's always a moment of like, oh, are they friendly? Or, you know, what am I getting myself into here? But those guys were super chilled and that was magical. getting quite late now in the day it's uh, quarter to six and we are in, actually in quite a, a big hurry to get to the campsite um, we just can't move anywhere in a hurry at all yeah but we can't move what do you reckon darling okay, you're okay just keep going at them as I drive past yeah, just in contact. case. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, back to the original point. We are in rather a hurry because it's going to get dark so you know the elephants are just blocking our path <laughs> and there's so many of them. Literally around every corner there's another hood. We are oh, pretty nice. relaxed. To the little baby. <laughs> This is starting to stress me out. Seven kilometers to do. No, we gotta go. The last seven kilometers took us around about 20 minutes. There's a good chance it's gonna be dark by the time we get, get into camp. No, no, don't move. Do not move, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. She's just shouting at us. We're fine. Do 
Don't move, John. He's going to sniff us and he's going to move straight past us. He knows we're here and he's coming to our space. Fuck me, that's a big elephant. Excuse my language. Oh god, he's a bastard. Okay, don't move. Don't move, just wait. Just wait. Oh my god. Okay, don't move, John. I don't know what to do. That elephant was twice the size of our car <clears throat> and we were in a pretty big truck here and we just watched it walk about 200 meters straight towards us. We were thinking it was going to get off the path, off the road, it didn't. It just walked straight, literally, up to the front of the car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am shaking. Yeah, after being trumpeted at by the last elephant, that was a pretty nerve-wracking ordeal. Shaking. Oh, okay, it's time to get to camp, man. Hope we don't see too many more elephants. I've never said that before. I've had enough now. Yeah, let's get to camp. So we're on the final bit of road now, we think, to the campsite. We must be about a kilometre away now. Less than that. Um, and we're still swimming through elephant soup and we look like we're the only people down here because there are no other car tracks, it's just wildlife tracks across the road. Now I'm the first to bang on about magic at the edge of comfort zones and so much of this is magical, but I am so close to the edge of my comfort zone right now that it's uncomfortable. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a sign in my life. Yeah. Well, home sweet home. This is it. This is it. Wild. What a beautiful, beautiful view it is though. We've been watching the lightning just over there on the horizon. away. Oh, there's some. I don't know whether you can catch that on the, on the camera, but beautiful. Place. Just one other um, vehicle down here tonight. So there's two of us camping, surrounded by all of those elephants. To say I'm feeling very fortunate this evening. Today's been something of an emotional roller coaster, for sure. Uh, we'll talk about it more in the morning because I felt properly overwhelmed when we got here. <laughs> night night Crusoe, say night night. Night night Crusoe. Say night night Crusoe, see you in the morning. Is that it? Are you asleep? Say night night to everybody. Good night, folks. See you in the morning. It's good to be back on the road. See you tomorrow. 100 percent it's an elephant outside. It's not an elephant. How many? Loads. Tara thinks it's a hundred. 